Hello again, my name is Gerhard Ochsenfeld and today I would like to tell you something about RAW format. I want to show you why you never should be satisfied with your camera bringing home less than rough data and any RAW format. The first example is an easy game. Brightening the depth only a little bit, the reflexes with stronger contrast and not any loss of markings in the glittering point lights. The bright sky still keeps the blue, the clouds could easily be burned out by the backlit sun, however they are not. My second example for you. The 31st of December, a quarter to four o'clock in the afternoon, short before sundown. Clouds covered the sky all day, but suddenly burst open with a rest of bright sun. The backlit is not too strong, at the same time the shadows need to remain as shadow and on the other hand need to show details like the white frost on the tree stump. Furthermore, while the background is nicely blurring and the tree stump in the foreground is in sharpness, here you can see some raw import without and with adjustments via Photoshop or, if you like to, with Photoshop elements. Third example, the Limbecker Platz in Essen. Maybe you remember from my video about the Samyang 16mm f2.0. The contrasts are high, however, the human eye does not mind the shadows so dark. So you do not only light up the shadows, but as well darken the brightness a little bit. By the way, we can correct chromatic aberrations. Here you can see the correcting of purple and green aberrations. Fourth example, extreme sunlight from the right side and a very deep shadow in the middle and on the left side of the tree stump and the sculpture. And the fifth example, this is a really hard backlight and contrast. The foreground is as good as black, however your eyes don't see like that. You need RAW to brighten the foreground and manage such contrasts. Maybe you now think the only advantage of using RAW format was to manage the contrast between highlights and shadows between whites and blacks. Yes, it is the main reason, but not the only. How to handle a negative to control contrast, something that Ansel Adams made up to his mastery. Today, however, you can master the most photographic problems by using RAW format. And yes, one and the same image needs around four times of data space if saved as a RAW format. Example given my cameras with sensors of 18 megapixel need an average of 25 megapixel to save a RAW format. And if you are ready with image processing, the results need around two times of data space compared with originally photographing with JPEG. But all that is really worthwhile. There are two reasons to use RAW format. First, to lose not any detail that can be kept. Second, to achieve photographic results that get as close as possible to what your eyes have seen and what your brain remembers as an extraordinary experience. So let me now show you some test shots to show that JPEG is only the right format to save completed photographies and why saving JPEG on your camera means to destroy your own photographies. My bookshelf offers enough references to present astonishing and maybe surprising details. One and the same photography, saved as JPEG and as RAW format. The RAW file is more than four times bigger. The analysis of the camera's information function does not show similar results. The color range of the RAW file is spread a bit more. The spread of exposure range seems to be the same, while the spread from whites and blacks seem to be the same. The intensity of blacks and whites, however, are very different. So let us see what that means in praxis. See dark regions without details, see the golden color of the letters with a too strong contrast, 
see the typical borderlines of JPEG compression lining strong contrasts. See some color shifting produced by JPEG compression. I want to come closer to the books. I now used an EF 60mm f2.8 USM macro. There is not only the color shifting, but also the JPEG compression destroys structures. The structure of the silk screen print is overlaid by an own structure of JPEG. I'll go closer to the books with my macro lens. Maybe you do not really want to believe what I have just told you. Now the structure of the silk screen print is so big and so detailed that JPEG cannot destroy. However, you can see clearly that the variety of colors is awfully simplified and you can see that many details are simply wiped off. So you know my summary from the beginning. Never, never, never be satisfied with less than a raw format to take home what you see and what you feel. Raw only gives you the chance and the possibility to realize an image of your experience and of your adventure. Thank you for your interest and thank you for your attention.